soilless cultivation, soldier farmers, food source, food gardens, and urban farming. What am I talking about? Hi, I'm Mervin. Join me today and I'll share these fun facts about Singapore's urban greenery with you today. Do you know that hydroponics is not a recent invention? The word hydroponics in Greek means water and labour. And it was coined in 1936 by men who had perfected ways of growing plants in water. Dr. W.F. Garrick pioneered the method of dirtless farming, where water instead of soil is used. In hydroponics, the roots of plants are placed in liquid nutrient solutions instead of soil. After a series of experiments, Dr. Garrick succeeded in producing heavy crops of tomatoes from shallow tanks of water. The Malaya Tribune in 1940 wrote a report detailing the amount of nutrients needed to make the water culture for plants to grow. Let's fast forward 35 years later in 1975. Did you know that we had soldiers who were also farmers? An experimental hydroponic farm was set up at SAF Kranji Camp. The trial planting was successful with Chai Sim, Bayam and Kai Lan. Only seven soldiers were needed to farm the vegetables and the hydroponic farm yielded about 300 kilograms of chai sim and bayam every month. The harvested greens were bigger than usual and were distributed to eight army camps for consumption. Do you know that Singapore produced its own greens via hydroponics since the 1970s? In 1970, the primary production department tested with hydroponics and found it effective for growing various vegetables. They passed on the technique they developed at its experimental station to farmers and by 1979, a fifth of vegetables were grown locally. We also became self-sufficient in pork and eggs and 80% self-sufficient in poultry meat. And that was the start of transition from traditional to hydroponics farming. And our agriculture sector transformed into a profitable and efficient part of our economy. Growing our own food today has evolved. Do you know that farms are now in urban areas such as rooftops and gardens? Currently, we import over 90% of our food from 170 countries but we aim to produce 30% of our food locally by 2030, an initiative under Singapore Food Agency and ASTAR's 30 by 30 plan. There are now edible gardens where herbs, fruits, edible flowers are grown. These gardens not only serve as food source, but they are also places for community bonding and education. Currently, there's 1,600 community gardens across Singapore under the Community in Bloom initiatives. Technology has enabled farms now to be portable with social functions. Do you know that commercial hydroponics farming started in 1981? Under the hydroponics scheme, 17 hectares of land was leased out to companies and their hydroponics farms were housed in an experimental field station in Sambawang. Today, commercial farms can be found at rooftops, parks and even under viaducts. With their close proximity to communities, produce are fresh and underutilized spaces are creatively used. With continued efforts in using innovative and productive technologies to maximise food production, Singapore may overcome resource constraints and enhance our food security. To end off, the COVID-19 pandemic amplified the need for urban farms. We need to continue developing agri-foods and agri-specialists to create high-tech, productive hydroponics and vertical farms to safeguard Singapore's food security.